Hello everyone, welcome to Coder Arts. In the previous video, we introduced a Gradio a powerful Python library that simplifies the development of interactive and user-friendly machine learning applications. We discussed its key features including simplicity, support for various input and output types, compatibility with popular deep learning frameworks, real-time updates and interactive, and more. Now in this video, we are going to discuss Gradio by learning how to install it and set up a simple Hello World Gradio application. If you are a beginner, don't worry, I will explain each line of code as we go along. So now let's start with the installation process. If you are using Google Colab, you can run pip commands directly in the notebook. If you are using local environment, open your terminal or command front. and run pip install gradio command. Yeah. In my system, I have already installed it. You can run this command in Jupyter Notebook as well. This command uses pip to install the Gradio library. Gradio is now installed, but how do we use it? Well, we will need to import it just like any other library. Import Gradio as gr. By importing Gradio as gr, we can use its functions and classes conveniently. Next, let's create a simple Hello World application. Imagine we want to create an application that takes a name as input and gets the users. So let's build it. Here we define a function grid that takes a name as an input and returns a greeting message. We then create a Gradio interface iFace using the gr.interface function. It specifies the grid as the input function to be used text as the input types and text as the output type. After that, launch interface using iFace.launch function. When you will run this code, you will see the Gradio interface pop up, but before that, you will see a local URL you can click on it. See our Hello World Gradio application is up and running. You can enter different names and it will greet you accordingly. So that's it for today. Uh, in this video, we learn how to install Gradio library and how to use it. In the next video, we will explore another topic with Gradio. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to ask in the comment below. And I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.